from Washington and Jefferson College head coach Jeff Mountain and student athletes Nick Vento and Ben Marsico. Coach, your opening remarks. Yeah, another uh, another good day for the president. Um, again, a bit a bit unusual. A lot of again, I continue to be thrilled with what I see. A lot of scrap out of the guys. A lot of fight out of the guys. And this is the way we've been. Kind of from the beginning, I mean, there was a lot of ebbs and flows to that game. Um, obviously, it's always good when you get off to a good start, and we were able to do that and, and build on the lead. But the middle of the game, they definitely got back into things. And, I mean, first of all, I, I can't say how impressed I am. The job Coach Sack's done there at Earlham, I remember playing against those guys 20 years ago. And uh, to say that they've come a long way as a program is a, is a massive understatement. I mean, we, we were in a real battle. We were in a real fight. They pressured us. Um, you know, they, they, they made us uncomfortable, and that's a credit to them. But uh, we, we hung in there. I think all 15 run, of our runs were scored with two outs, which is ki- kind of amazing, obviously. Um, you know, just one, one of those nights, you know, and uh, thin line, you know, thin line. If you don't get those big hits, and it happened early, right away, first inning, Nick Aiden's got, got the two-out hit we needed. And, again, I think that allowed us to, to relax. We, we were never playing from behind tonight. Obviously, they answered with a two-spot as well. But uh, – it's big. I mean, when you're, when you're scoring the runs we've been able to the first two days of a regional, you certainly put yourself in a good position to win. So we're, we're happy to be in the position we're in, but there's there's more work ahead. Nick, question for you. You had the game that played your three months, four for six, seven RBIs, grand slam. Um, all seven RBIs are with the bases loaded, and you are now the single season or career leader in RBIs. Uh, you know, from the beginning of the game, I was just trying to uh, slow the game down. You know, uh, yesterday I didn't have that great of a game, um, and I was pressing at the plate. So I made sure that tonight, you know, I slowed the game down and I saw pitches and I went deep into counts. And then uh, I was just trying to hit my pitch. And uh, some some of the hits I had, you know, I didn't square them up. I just got lucky. But you know, that's baseball. So. Um, yeah, but I was seeing it well tonight, to say the least. So, uh, Coach, for you, uh, tell me a little bit about that, that second inning that we had. Uh, one or two innings earlier, you guys were in a, a 7 6 game. So, tell me a little bit about those insurance runs you were able to, to tack on and how important those were. Yeah. You guys came back out. I, I think, given the situation, you just never know how guys are going to respond when you sit down for a while. Um, you know, it's it's strange. You, you you play all these games, and you know, it's it's it definitely becomes a war of attrition here. I mean, it's going to be some late nights looking at the forecast, and to be able to have a comfortable lead, and, you're, and it's never over. I mean, yesterday showed that it's never over until the twenty seventh out. All these teams are here for a reason. One of the big ones being they they don't quit. You know, they have a lot of talent. They don't quit. So coming out of the rain delay with a with a fifteen to six lead. Was, was definitely big because you just don't know how people are going to respond to that when you're finishing a game at 11 o'clock at night. You're not accustomed to it. He, he's, he likes to talk. He's a man of big words. Um, I tried to think of it just another game. I feel like from past games I've pitched in high school and up until now, I've prepared. It really didn't seem like that different of a game to me. Coach, question for you about Ben. Yeah. Earl was making a comeback. He made it 7-6. to six. It looked like he was going to continue to go back and forth. And then you bring him in and four innings only allowing two hits. Yep. Um, probably more than what you expected, but just talk about how important that was for him to give that performance and save your bullpen. He has a huge contribution. Um, you know, I kind of mentioned after the game, I, I thought he was the first guy that went out there on the mound, kind of slowed the game down a little bit. The game came to him. He threw multiple pitches for strikes. Uh, we're not, you know, he's a freshman, but ages don't matter now. You know, I mean, we, we everybody's got a full season under your belt, and you need contributions from everybody. I think it starts with the older guys, obviously, but he, he has the makeup for it. He has the demeanor for it. I mean, he comes from a very good high school program that prepared him for, for a type of situation that he encountered. And 
Yeah, I think a big big thing for us, we walked one guy tonight. Uh, it was unfortunate. Matt Heslin's been probably our best pitcher over the last two or three weeks. Did, didn't have his best stuff tonight. You know, I, I think with him, you know, he, he maybe maybe a little too hype, ball, elevated the ball a little bit early. Um, you know, just a couple bad pitches that they took advantage of. So he, he'll be better next time. He'll, he'll definitely be better. Uh, we like his fight and his competitiveness, and he, and he did throw the ball over the plate and make, make them beat him. But, yeah, Ben, ben was – Obviously, it was a big-time performance, and we're going to need him to bounce back here at, at some point soon. You know, records are something that are awesome, you know, when you're looking at, looking back at games and, you know, 20 years from now, that's something, you know, that I'll look at. But right now in the moment, you know, I'm, I don't really think about any record. Um, I'm just out there fighting for my team and, uh, you know, being a senior leader, um, you know, the guys kind of thrive off of that energy and uh, having a hit like that, I mean, it turned the game around, yes, um, but it also got all the bats hot behind me, so. I mean, Adam, yeah, you know, he stands five, four, you know, he's tough to pitch to, so, uh, um, but, you know, not only does he have a great eye, he has a great bat, uh, quick hands, and, um, you know, having guys on base when you're up and, you know, especially when we're swinging hot sticks through the meat of the order, um, it's always nice because you know you're going to come out and, uh, you know, be able to have a chance to knock somebody in, so. Coach, have you seen that uh, success uh, of two outs in your career? I mean, 15, all 15 runs. Right. No, I haven't. I haven't. You know, and it's – those are the breaks you need. Those are – that's the type of play you need once you get to this level. Uh, and they weren't – you said they were – with the exception of – the sixth inning, I mean, they didn't give us any, you know. I mean, we we earned we earned the 15 runs really for the most part. So yeah, it was it was good. And how about this guy getting up three times with the bases loaded? You you ask about Adam. You ask about Adam. Those guys guys are getting on base in front of him too, you know. So that makes it more difficult to pitch around him and those types of things. So um, you know, it's been big.